Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Spring Framework and Spring Boot tutorial, in the last video we have seen the contents what we are going to discuss in this Spring Framework. Today let us introduce this Spring Framework. Spring Framework introduction, the need of going with Spring Framework. Now, so before we understand what is this Spring Framework and what is the need of going with Spring Framework, let us understand what is a framework. What do you mean by a framework? So the need of going with framework is like framework. Framework will provide some common logics, some common logics required for the application, required for the project development. So whenever you are developing a project, there will be some common logics. So that common logic is taken care by framework. Like example, when we go with a database connection, when we go with a database connection, what are the steps required in JDBC? We have to load the driver class, load the driver class, establish connection, establish connection, then create statement, create statement, execute statement, then close statement, close connection. So whenever we go with any database related program, these are the common steps. These are the common steps. So any program we take, these are the common steps. So these common steps are taken care by your framework. So that is the meaning called as common logics. So the main need of going with framework is it reduces burden onto the developers. So frameworks, frameworks will reduce the burden to the developers. Because some part of code, some part of code is taken care by your framework. In that way, it is going to reduce burden to the developers. Then how a framework will come is a framework, a framework is a group of predefined libraries. It comes in what fashion? It comes in the form of predefined libraries, which comes with set of jar files. So in order to work with the framework, we have to get these libraries in the form of jar files, whatever we give, that we need to add it to our project in order to work with the respective framework. Here we are in two types of frameworks. Types of frameworks. We are in two types like ORM frameworks and web frameworks. We are having ORM frameworks and web frameworks. Now, so this ORM frameworks come into this ORM frameworks. This ORM frameworks are mainly to manage the persistence layer. So we can say ORM frameworks are used to develop persistence layer. Persistence layer. Persistence means permanent data, mainly uh, database related. So mainly what database related. So inserting some records into the table, updating the records, uh, retrieving the records from table, deleting the records, all those things we call them as persistence layer to make our data permanent. So persistence layer of an application. And the framework is like Hibernate. Hibernate is Hibernate is what? It's an ORM framework. We are having Ibatics. Ibotics framework is also a ORM framework. Right, we can say JPA, Java Persistence API. The Java Persistence API, it's a library for us. Right, so this hibernate, we can even say it's a part of Java Persistence API. Right, then coming to this web frameworks, coming to this web frameworks, this web frameworks, web frameworks are used to develop web applications. They are used for what? To develop the 
web applications and the examples are like struts struts framework jsf java server faces so these are some of the web frameworks so this hibernate framework is mainly to manage what the persistence layer this web framework they are used to manage the web applications like example struts struts is used to develop what type of applications web applications so whenever you want to manage persistence layer we think of hibernate framework or any other orm framework whenever you want to go with web applications we think of struts framework right so based on the layer we are using different different types of frameworks here so coming to spring coming to spring spring is an application development framework spring is what application development framework so using spring we can develop any type of application that's the reason the name has come application development framework right using spring using spring we can develop we can develop end to end application using spring we, what type of application we can develop end to end application so let me elaborate more using a diagram so whenever we are developing a application so we will be having like ui layer we will be having what ui layer user interface layer so how to develop this user interface layer we can make use of any web technologies like html css javascript or uh, we can go with bootstrap angular or react like this right so we can develop this ui layer by using this technologies now so one whatever the user will fill the data that is given to the web layer so the next layer it's going to connect to what web layer so this web layer so web layer it goes with the controllers right uh, request handlers request handlers whatever the request we are getting we should be able to handle that right so what are the data we have entered it is given to what the web layer web layer will take care of handling the request then so what are the web layer we are having so we have to do the business logic so the business logic is taken care by your service layer service layer in service layer we take care of what business logic service layer it's mainly to manage what the business logic of your application then now to persist our data we have to go with what persistence layer we have to make use of persistence layer persistence layer is for managing what here it's mainly to manage your database communication logic here we go with database communication logic right and what are the data we are having we are going to insert into your database so to make our data permanent we go for what database to store our data permanently so from ui layer the data will go to web layer then web layer is going to communicate to your service layer to do the business logic service layer will communicate to your persistence layer to manage the databases to store data permanently and where the data is stored in database so persistence layer is going to interact with the database now if i want to manage only this if you want to manage only the persistence layer we can make use of hibernate so to manage this persistence layer we can make use of what hibernate framework we can make use of hibernate framework to manage this persistence layer so if i want to manage this web layer 
the web application development we can make use of we can make use of struts framework we can make use of what struts framework so based on the related things persistence we are managing only hibernate so web components web related things we are managing with struts so when you want to develop end to end application what do you mean by end to end application the application should have ui web service persistence and able to store the data in per database so i should able to manage all these layers so struts is managing only web related hibernate is managing only persistence related now spring framework people got an idea like why can't we develop a framework which which can manage end to end application so we should able to manage the web related things we should able to manage the business related things we should able to manage your persistence related that is database communication logic so that is the place where spring has come into picture so spring is used to develop all this using spring we can develop what web layer service layer and even the persistence layer also so that is the main need of going with what spring framework so that is the reason we say what spring has got here spring is an application development framework so using spring we can develop what type of application end to end application we can develop what end to end application so this is the main beauty of spring framework that is the reason many developers are using what spring framework to develop java applications so without having knowledge of spring entering into java is nowadays very very difficult any java developer should have an idea on spring framework compulsory right then now coming to the spring spring framework spring framework is developed developed in the form of modules so based on the requirement we can make use of the respective module and it has divided into the modules like spring core module then spring context module then spring aop module aspect oriented programming then spring dao then spring web mvc then spring orn like for example whichever the module you want to use you can use only that module for example i want to go with only web application i can simply use only this module like spring web mvc module i want to develop only persistence layer i want to communicate only with the database then we can make use of this spring orm or we can even go with this spring dao so when you want to manage objects we go with this spring orm module right so more about what is this orm what is this web mvc everything everything we'll be discussing in the next classes so here in this video we are trying to understand the need of going with spring framework so the main need of going with spring framework is it's mainly for application development it's mainly to develop end to end application any type of application like whether it may be persistence layer whether it may be web layer or whether it may be business logic any type of application we can develop by using spring so you can select spring is used spring is used to develop robust spring is used for what to develop robust web applications and enterprise applications very easily and rapidly so we can develop web applications and enterprise applications very easily and rapidly and what are the applications we develop using spring they are robust they are strong enough applications right so that's about in this video so we'll continue more about spring in the next videos please subscribe like and share thank you